everybody. I am Dr. Poppy Moon. I'm a professor of counseling at the University of West Alabama. And today I'm going to give you three quick tips that I have learned over my many years of being a school counselor and a clinical mental health counselor. The first thing that I figured out is a clock on every wall. When you're working as a counselor, you've got a lot going on. You've got to keep an eye on the time. If you're in a clinical mental health setting, sometimes you only have 50 minutes to see the client. If you're in a school counseling setting, you may just have a few minutes and then you have to go to a meeting or you have to go do some classroom guidance. And you don't want to pick up your phone and look and see what time it is. And you don't want to look at your watch because you don't want the client to feel like, oh, I've got to be in a hurry. She doesn't really have time to be listening to me. And, um, you know, just kind of making them feel that you're not fully present with them. So the thing that I figured out is to have a clock on every wall. So I have one here, I have one behind me, and I have one on each side. So it doesn't matter where the client sits, you'll always be able to see the clock. So when we're in the session, I will occasionally just take my hand and I'll look up like I'm thinking. I can see that clock and I know what time it is. Then I can go back and continue with the client and they have no idea that that's how I'm keeping track of the time. The next thing is what I call the stare. The stare is when you were looking at the client and you start to feel like, oh, I've been looking them directly in the eye for a long period of time. And it becomes very awkward because you're like, ah, what do I do? My tips for you is normally I'll sit in a chair and I'll have like an armrest. So I'm making eye contact. I start to feel that it's becoming a little bit uncomfortable. So I'll look again. I'll think and I'll look up and I'll think and I'll nod. Yes, I'm listening. That's interesting. Then I can go back to making eye contact. Or I always have a ring on my hand, so I'm able to look down and, you know, I'll twist my ring, thinking about what they're having to say, and then I'll come back up and I can look at this again. This is something that, even as a seasoned counselor, I still have a little bit of trouble with the stare. So those are my tips to be able to, to help you with that. My last quick tip is ending the session. It is always hard to end the session because you don't want the client to feel like you are too busy and you're not listening to them and you're trying to rush them out. But, you know, <laughs> you've got to end it because you have to kind of move on with your day. Um, I found that if I say that it's time, they'll understand, but then they'll start talking all over again. And I feel like, oh, I don't want to make you feel like I don't care. So ending the session, I will grab any type of papers that I have with me. Doesn't matter what they are. I'll put them in a stack. Then I will stand up and I'll start moving to the door and I'll say to the client, OK, um, our time is up. I look forward to hearing you know, more about all of this next week, but um, I've got to take this up to the, to the front and our time is up. So I'll just walk down to the front with you. So the client will get up. We'll both be moving down the hall and it will it will let them it will give them kind of a way to to move along with you. So I do this with parents at school. I do this with kids at school. I'll stand up and I say, I've got to take it down to the office. Just come along with me and uh, I'll take you back to class. And I have found that this works really, really well. And it kind of takes some of that guilt that I have away that, um, that I'm maybe rushing them or I'm not listening to them. So those are my quick tips. And if you have any questions for me, you can send me an email at pmoon at uwa.edu. That's the University of West Alabama. And I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any other questions about tips that I might can give you, I'm more than happy to do so. So check back in and have a great day.